Graniola. This is the Graniola channel, and I'd like to tell you a folk tale. In many, the hero is an unlikely character who pits his or her wits against pure brute strength. These stories are really important because they send the message that problems can be solved without violence. In this particular story, that is exactly what happens when the bat-eared fox saves the day. On a certain afternoon, a lion who was normally majestic had been chased in circles for hours by a pack of wild dogs. He was almost exhausted when he saw a big tree and thought that if he could just get behind it, he could lose the dogs. In his haste, he didn't notice that there was a woman standing next to the trunk. She was singing happily to herself and filling a basket with plump worms that she was planning to fry up for her family's dinner. When the lion made a quick movement to better hide himself, he almost knocked the woman off her feet. Seconds before, he had been terrified by the approaching dogs. But now, as often happens, in a blink of an eye, his terror turns into anger, and he was back to his old self. Where did you come from, and what are you doing there? That frightful pack has been chasing me in circles around the flatlands for hours. I could really use some help right now. You poor dear. Yes, I quite understand your predicament, she answered sweetly. And when seconds later the pack of dogs arrived in front of her and demanded to know where the lion had gone, she pointed off toward the horizon. The dogs barely hesitated as they rushed off in the direction which she had indicated. Shortly after, a very shaken lion came out from behind the tree. The lady was in a jovial mood and smiled sweetly at the lion, expecting him to say to thank her for having helped him. But instead he let out a rather loud sigh and appeared to be licking his lips. I've had a pretty disagreeable day with those dogs nipping at my heel all morning, but now it seems I shall have a reward. I believe that you would be quite adequate for my lunch. The lady was a little bit flabbergasted, but politely she asked, I'm sorry, I must be misunderstanding you. Did you mean that we should lunch together? I suppose you could put it that way. We would be eating together, I guess, as I will be eating you for my lunch. By chance, during this conversation, the two of them were not alone. There was a pretty little bat-eared fox dining on termites in a mound near their feet. Although she was really enjoying her snack, she didn't hesitate to stop chewing in order to speak to the lion. This nice lady has sent the dogs away, but you do realize that in a few seconds they'll be back again. How will you get them to go away? How will you keep them away? The lion, being the undisputed king of the jungle, was used to giving orders to others. And because in his experience they were afraid of him, normally everyone did exactly what he asked. Yes, that is absolutely correct. You are quite right. You shall keep them away. The fox was a very clever little animal and answered quickly to the lion. Yes, I think I could, but I would actually need a stick. Maybe this lady can help me. My dear lady, I see that you've already helped the lion. Do you think you could help him a little further and go to the get out of here tree and bring me back a branch? The lady, as we've already seen, was a courteous person who was always happy to help out a friend, and she quickly agreed to go out and look for the branch. 
Once she had stepped away from the lion and was a bit calmer, she realized that she had no idea what a get-out-of-here tree was. But she had no intention of being rude or letting anyone down, so she simply broke off the branch that was nearest to her and carried it back toward the lion and the bat-eared fox. Not wanting to get too close to the lion, she handed the stick to her new friend, the large-eared fox. The fox looked down at it with consternation. Oh, I'm really sorry to have to put you out like this, but that stick just won't work. Could you please go back again and find a don't-come-back tree and bring me a branch from that? The lady was a little more hesitant this time, but did more or less what she had done the first time and stepped out and brought a branch back from just any old tree. Oh dear, said the fox. Well, I can hear the dogs barking and their barking seems to be getting closer. We have to work a little more quickly. Lion, I think that I should go with the lady this time so we can find the correct branch and bring it back. Is that okay with you? Yeah, okay, okay, responded the lion distractedly as he looked around. And so it was that the fox with the very large ears and the kindly lady walked away. And I can't tell you whether the pack of wild dogs went back there, but I know that the nice lady and the clever fox did not never did, and as for the lion, who knows, he may be waiting there still. This tale is told in Botswana, where there are 170 different species of mammals, and where, if you were to visit, you might see a bat-eared fox.